When you're looking through data from a spider foot scan, common questions arise like, how is this data relevant? What does this data mean? And where did this data come from? Spiderfoot provides you with tools to answer these questions. Let's use this malicious affiliate data as an example. The first thing we should ask ourselves is, how did Spiderfoot get to this data? To help us with answering this question, by default, Spiderfoot presents results in two columns. On the left-hand side, we can see the data that we have browsed to, and on the right-hand side, we're being shown what data Spiderfoot analyzed to get that data. If you want to go deeper and find out how that data was found, you can click on the small arrow buttons above the source data to trace back to the very target that you specified for your scan. You can then understand the whole path of data collection and analysis that Spiderfoot went through from your target to this particular data point step by step. There's a lot of information here, so let's look a little more closely at each row of data presented. Along the top of each row of data, you can see information such as the data type, the module that generated this data, how many children that data has, or in other words, how many data points were found from this data, how many correlations were generated from this data, and the distance it is from the target. You can click on these to get more details, and you can also sort by each of these values using the sort button above. For example, you'll notice that most of the source data shown have multiple child data points. By clicking directly on the children icon, we can directly view all the data Spiderfoot identified from this particular data point. Again, we can use the arrow icons to traverse the path the Spiderfoot traveled to get each of these data points, right through to our original target. 